Welcome. I bid you welcome. And this is Johnny Metal, John Clauser, the Metal Dad. Today, coming to you from my music corner of the world, today I start a little something different. This is going to be a daily series, or hopefully a very quick daily series. Um, and I'm going to talk about the Christian parody band called Apologetics. Um, and I'm going to do this uh, for the entire month of April. Um, and basically what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to cover at least uh, two, uh, maybe three CDs a day because they actually have that many CDs out there. <laughs> I think it is actually up to 60, so I could probably get through at least two a day. Um, anyway, but this is uh, a band that I've been following now for, gosh, over 20 plus years, maybe a little longer. Um, I'm really trying to remember when I first heard these guys and started picking up their music. Um, I really can't remember exactly. I know it was turned on by my friend Stacy, um, because I believe she had seen them at uh Creation Festival. So um, so she thought I would really like these guys. So um, just a little history about apologetics. So these guys started about 31 years ago, um, outside of Pittsburgh. Uh Jay Jackson's the main lyricist and uh parody writer. Um, the original band had Carl Messner um on guitar. Um it also had um I have to get the names right here. Uh Andy Sparks played on rhythm guitar, Steve Kaner was on bass. Keith Harold would be on drums. Um, that lineup line would change a little bit after as time would go on. Carl would stay with the band um, for uh, almost fifteen years, um, but uh, and the other the other three that I mentioned would kind of uh, come and go a little bit uh, after the first album. But um, anyway, so the ones I'm going to start off with today. Jay, if you're watching this, sorry. I know these aren't the ones you would rather have people start with, but I've got to start at the beginning. You know, just like Judas Priest and Genesis and Yes, and, uh, you know, there's a few bands out there that maybe their first album, well, is not so hot. Well, that would be, even though this is like probably their earliest CD they do, um, they didn't really release this until about 2003, but isn't was an eight was an original cassette that they did for uh, for fans at their concerts. And there was a, I think there's about eight or ten of the cassettes. No, I don't have any of those. The completest in me is driving myself nuts because I'd love to get those. Anyway, there are very they're either live recordings or they are just raw go for it kind of. <laughs> kind of uh uh recordings which is what isn't isn't was an eight so if you're looking for perfection isn't one an eight isn't was an eight gonna be what you're looking for so um what is on this particular one uh this one they they run the gamut of a bunch of a bunch of different styles uh isn't was an eight of course a parody of that's a parody of live and love and made uh she's just a woman by led zeppelin uh they do parodies of the beatles um uh, they do uh the five man electrical band or tesla for they do the song signs uh they they tackle guns and roses the beach boys doobie brothers um elvis uh let's see bad company john cougar uh the romantics george michael um simon and garfunkel uh Kinks or Van Halen, depending on who you look at it from, uh, they do uh, they do a parody of You Really Got Me called He Really Got Mad. Um, and that's just on, uh, that's on Isn't Wasn't Ain't. Uh, originally released in um, in 1993 on cassette. Um, they would eventually release this as a 10 year anniversary to like a fan club thing. And uh, eventually they would come out with, uh, which is what, I don't know if you can see that. But that is the uh, that's the tenth anniversary um, issue of this. It was they kind of did it as a no no frills thing, and then they did this what's called a director's cut, 
which did feature two songs that didn't that were on the original cassette but didn't make it on the CD. And then they also put a couple CD uh, songs from the original cassette of this one, Radical History Tour. And this would be the first album that they would release on. Um, originally, again, the cassette was originally done in 1994. Uh, this uh, CD would come out in 1999. Um, here again, uh, they tackle Queen, Van Halen, uh, uh, Bachman Turner Overdrive, Rolling Stones, uh, Roxette, uh, Led Zeppelin, Leonard Skinner, uh, Buck Owens. Yes, they did. I've got it. They did a parody of I've Got a Tiger by the Tail, and their song is called I've Got Elijah Fighting Bale. So there you go. Um, let's see. Uh, they do uh, 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 not the Hot Rod Lincoln, and they call it Not Logs Lincoln. Uh, if you remember that song from uh, Commander Cody, uh, they do Aerosmith, Rod Stewart, Ted Nugent, Rolling um, uh, Rolling Stones again, uh, Creedence Clearwater Revival, Foreigner, uh, Simon Garfunkel again, uh, the Eagles, and uh, Wilson Pickett. So, um, the band on this one, uh, let's see, uh, Andy Sparks on bass, uh, Ricky Servaki on drums. We still have Carl Messner on guitars. And Jay Jackson still on vocals um, and all parody lyrics. Uh, this was a little bit better uh, recorded, uh, a little bit more refined. Um, here you can tell they're trying to perfect the parody, uh, and they're trying to uh, you know that it would take a few albums as they keep working on it. Um, but um, still, not not bad. Again, maybe not where you want to start if you're wanting to check these guys out. Um, but again, what they do is they're it's like a Christian version of Weird Al. So um, they basically take secular songs and they put Christian lyrics to them. You know, that's pretty much what that that's what their that's what their goal is, and that's their ministry. And they've been to all 50 states, they've been into Canada. Uh, I've had the pleasure of seeing them twice. But um, anyway, I'm hoping this is going to be a daily series. I'm just going to go through every single album, uh, at least two a day. And uh, who knows? We might turn some fans on. We might turn some fans off to my channel. I don't know which, uh, which but uh, either way, this is going to be just something fun for me to do. And I hope you enjoy it. So with that said, I am John Clouser, the Metal Dad, Johnny Metal, coming to you from my music corner. Um, look for this to come your way every day. So uh, until then, I will see you next time.